So do you think you passed stuff out? Um, I think I've passed maybe, I don't know. Yep. I well, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't get to say that much on the <laughs> uh, on the channel do, with these uh, mock tests. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock test. Before we get started, any of you that need help with your driving lessons and I've got your driving test coming up, please check out this video for the ultimate driving course. Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. Before I passed my driving test, I was really nervous. It really helped me have more confidence and I would take what I learned during the course into my lessons and really aid that. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. So today we have Jay, and like most of the other learners that feature on um, this channel for a uh, mock driving test, they haven't uh, had any lessons with me. I'm meeting, I'm meeting Jay for the first time today. Yeah, I've just picked him up. And yeah, he just wants me to assess his driving and he wants to find out whether he's ready for his driving test or not. Yeah. yeah. So Jay, could you tell us a bit about your driving? Um, I've been, I've had like 13, 14 hours of driving. Just yeah, 13, 14 hours? Yeah. Okay, that's not much at all. No. So, do you feel ready? Yeah, I feel confident when driving. Okay. Yeah. Any areas which you think uh, you're not good at or need more practice on? Um, maybe just checking mirrors more often maybe when like overtaking cars, checking right mirror and coming back in. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, in those 13, 14 hours, have you covered most of the stuff, have you covered all the manoeuvres and everything? Yeah, like parallel parking, reverse, bay parking, everything. Okay, Yeah. good, that's quite quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see um, if there are any faults made today, yeah. Uh -huh. you, you've been watching the videos before, yeah? Yeah. So, um, just like in the videos, any faults you do make here, we won't talk about them on the movie, yeah, we will talk about, about them at the end of the test, yeah. yeah. For those of you watching, any mistakes that Jay does make, um, they'll be talked about just before they happen. Any normal driving faults will be in, um, Amber text, any serious driving faults will be in red text. Jay, how many serious faults are you allowed on the actual test? Do you know? Is it uh, 14, 15? 15, 15. No, the serious oh, ones. Oh, serious ones. Serious, you can't have any. That's it, good. If you have one so serious, yeah. 15, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it really. And guys, anybody watching who wants to take part in one of these mock tests, just drop us a message on Instagram at DGN Driving and we just uh, select people randomly. Right, so have you been through the show me tell me questions? Jay? No. No? No. Okay, so we'll leave that out, yeah, but do obviously um, go through those, yeah, you'll be asked one tell me question at the start and yeah. the show me question on the move during your test, yeah. Okay, okay. any yeah. questions before we start? No, that's it. Okay, so whenever you're ready, you could uh, move off. We're going to start off by following the sat-nav, yeah. yeah. And obviously Jay hasn't driven this uh, car before, but he's from Wolverhampton, so you, you're you probably going to be familiar with uh, most of the roads we go on, yeah. There is a lorry parked on our side of the road. So the oncoming vehicle has priority. Jay holds back in a good position and carries out the correct mirror checks before moving off. When turning right at these traffic lights, he positions well and chooses a safe gap to go. If you can park up anywhere safe on the left. When parking up, he stops quite close opposite a junction. Yeah. 
you and move off when you're ready. He carries out good observations before moving off. This is a steep uphill junction. Jay approaches this really well, selecting first gear at the right time and demonstrates good clutch control. Now this road splits into two lanes. There are vehicles in the left hand lane which can be mistaken as parked vehicles. Jay assesses it well and sticks to the left lane behind the vehicles as we are continuing straight ahead. But as he stops, he gets too close to the curb and touches it. Here we have a giveaway sign and markings which mean that we have to look out for any traffic before entering the new road. I see a lot of people miss this sign and not check properly but Jay notices the sign and carries out good observations. After these lights there are giveaway markings. So it's important to look to the right before entering the new road. Again, Jay does good observations. But when he stops, he forgets to select first gear. At the roundabout, if you could take right second exit, please. He approaches and enters this roundabout well, but as he is about to exit the roundabout, his mirror check is slightly late. He should have checked the mirrors before signalling and just before changing direction. At the traffic lights turn left please. When stopping, you should always brake first and then put the clutch pedal down. As you'll notice here, Jay puts the clutch down first and then brakes after, which is classed as coasting. And this is something that Jay does quite often, but it doesn't really cause any danger and he handles the car well. We do talk about this during the feedback at the end of the test. Here we are waiting to turn left. There is a cycle lane to our left, so it's important to check that left mirror before moving off. Jay carries out good observations. Okay, coming up now we have two roundabouts, yeah? Yeah, quite close together on both the roundabouts. Turn right, third exit please. Now these two roundabouts can be quite tricky, but Jay does them both really well. He approaches and enters well. When exiting this roundabout, he exits onto the right hand lane, which is good as we are turning right at the following roundabout.
again this roundabout he approaches and enters well. And when exiting he carries out good observations and changes lanes well. As we are turning right at this roundabout, Jay should have applied the right signal on approach, but signals too late. Now we are in a car park in which I will ask Jay to do the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. We will be ending the test after this manoeuvre. So if he does this manoeuvre well, he passes this mock driving test. Yeah, and reverse into any bay on the left. <coughs> That's it, he's fine. Before reversing in any manoeuvre, you should check all around and make sure it's safe. Jay carries out the correct observations before reversing. He maintains a good slow speed throughout the manoeuvre. And now as our vehicle is about to swing out, Jay does good checks and looks over the right blind spot. Jay is heading quite close to the bay line to our right. He notices this and readjusts well. Now it's the end of the driving test and it's time to tell Jay that he has passed. <coughs> okay, finish? Yeah. Switch off the engine for me. Okay, so that's the end of uh, the test. So, how do you think you did? Um, I thought I did alright. The roundabout there, I forgot to indicate twice I think. I think the signal here towards yeah. the end. Yeah. So do you think you passed or failed? Um, I think I passed maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I, well, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get to say that much on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the channel do, with these uh, mock tests. Yeah. But yeah, you're driving overall really good, really good standard, especially for just 13, 14 hours that you said you've had. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really good. Mm. So you, your test is still a couple of months away, isn't it? Yeah. You're yeah. telling me, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So have you been like watching quite a few of the videos on that? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, I've just been looking at the videos and like seeing what you're meant to do and what you're not meant to do. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously that definitely help with your instructor. Yeah, yeah. And obviously you as well. Uh -huh. Like I said, in such a short space of time. Yeah. It's really good, yeah. really good. Um, a few things that you need, need to improve slightly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know when I should to do anything, yeah? Okay. Turn left or right, yeah. Uh -huh. What's the first thing you should do? Check the mirrors first. Yeah, then? And then indicate. Yeah, good. You're doing that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after that, So say you're you're driving in gear three now, yeah, yeah? Okay. and I should turn left. Oh. Yeah? So you do your mirrors, uh -huh. you signal. Then what should you do next? Change the gear two. Not your gear straight away. You need to slow the car down first. Uh -huh. How do you slow the car down? Clutch down brake. See, you, that's or what you do first. first. Yeah, you should, you uh -huh. should be braking okay. first. Remember the um, letters B B C: brake before clutch. Okay. Yeah? yeah. What you're doing all the time is clutch. going for the clutch first. Okay. That's classed as coasting. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of times the car did speed up. We're on a slight downhill road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like it did keep happening, but there, yeah. w there wasn't any danger, so it wasn't really marked down as a fault. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, marked it a few times, uh -huh. 
Um, but that's something you just remember mirror signal Brake. slow down with the brake okay. once you slow down a bit then go for the clutch you, you're doing the same on the approach to roundabouts and that as well uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're rushing for the clutch first uh -huh. okay okay um that was the only thing that really kept him um, um happening yeah yeah other than that everything else really good awareness yeah yeah sometimes you're accelerating probably a bit too hard okay yeah you know okay. when you uh, you're Going when you're building up your speed okay um but yeah really good yeah. well done yeah that's <laughs> a nice uh, yeah nice to get a pass on the channel yeah <laughs> and um i've got no doubt that you'll you should easily pass your test okay. first time yeah you got yeah, you got hopefully. you got a lot of um time, time yeah. still even if you stick to the the one lesson a week that you're having yeah, uh -huh. yeah. and um, yeah any questions no yeah. brilliant well then even with this maneuver you were a bit close there but you yeah, really no, just did it yeah, yeah. um <coughs> you, you like you know if you feel you are touching the line because mm -hmm. the front right tire is quite close okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go forward and readjust it if you need to yeah Okay. So I can just go forward and reverse. Yeah, it. just make you do uh, your observations. Okay. Like, like you do, you did good, good observations uh -huh. like um, before you reversed as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, really good. Well done. Thank and you. thanks a lot for doing the mock test and good luck for your actual test. Yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. Yeah. Guys, um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.